This video will demonstrate OpenDDS middleware using shapes as a visual representation of your data. OpenDDS is a completely open source implementation of the Object Management Group's Data Distribution Service specification. Developers around the globe use OpenDDS as a framework enabling C++ and Java applications to distribute data efficiently and reliably over the network in a decoupled publish-subscribe paradigm. Unlike low-level transport protocols, the OpenDDS middleware is aware of the schema and semantics of the data and can use advanced quality of service policies to address many common distributed computing problems. The following demonstration will illustrate how anonymous information producers, also known as publishers, interact with information consumers, also known as subscribers. The Shapes demo is a graphical application that will help you visualize some of the DDS concepts that OpenDDS supports without needing to read or write source code. The Shapes demo makes use of the real-time publish-subscribe wire protocol specification that provides interoperable communications between various DDS implementations. Instructions on downloading and running the Shapes demo program that will be used in this demonstration are freely available at OpenDDS.org under the Quick Start section. The application allows you to create publishers and subscribers, which are data producers and data consumers of topics represented as simple shapes. The data payloads sent on these topics include the position, color, and size of the shapes. Using these shapes topics as graphical representations of the data, you can see the results in real time of the different quality of service, data partitioning, and filtering options provided. Today we will run through two demonstrations of unique quality of services that can be configured in your use case. The first demonstration will be ownership quality of service, and the second, content filtered topics. As you can see right now, we have created one publisher that is publishing on a topic of circle. The white center of the circle indicates that this is a published object originating at this application. If we were to create a subscriber in this application to the same circle topic, as we will do right now, you will see that the center of the circle will go dark to indicate that this is a instance of subscribed data. What may not be apparent in this simple example is that the center of the circle going from white to dark is actually demonstrating the process of discovery, entity matching, publication, and subscription between two DDS entities. In this demonstration, we will focus on the ownership quality of service. Ownership is a quality of service policy that falls under the set of features that help provide redundancy to the system. Setting the ownership policy to exclusive allows multiple publishers to be publishing for the same instance, but only one will be recognized as the owner or the authoritative source for that data. A failure or death of the current owner allows the subscribers to continue receiving values from the new owner. In this example, we will be using three instances of the Shapes demo. In the first appli application window, we will subscribe to one instance of square, we'll set it up to receive squares, but first we will use the quality of service menu to set the ownership quality of service to exclusive. We will begin subscribing by clicking the subscribe button. As you can see, a gray square shows up indicating we have created a subscriber for square, but there is no data being published on that topic yet. In the second window, we will create a publisher for the square object. Using the quality of service menu, 
we will once again set the ownership quality of service to exclusive and use the default strength of 50. Now, if we begin publishing this square topic, you should see the subscriber start finding that data. Observe that the square has appeared in the subscriber applications display area, matching the color, size, and location of the square in the publisher's display. We will now use the third instance of the shapes demo application to show how the quality of service or ownership will be used to fail over. Let us set up the third instance to publish square as well. We're going to increase the size of the square that's being published just to give you a better visualization. Now we will set up the quality of service to be exclusive and we will increase the strength to be larger than that of the second public, the first publisher that we created. And we will publish the square. Now you will observe that the larger square has appeared in the subscriber applications display area. Since the ownership quality of service has been set to exclusive, only one writer of the topic, the writer with the highest strength, will have its messages find their way to the subscriber. Now if we were to get rid of the current owner of the topic by closing out of the application window, you should see the subscriber fail over to the data that's being published by the initial publisher that we created. This is the failover mechanism for the ownership quality of service. In this example, we will be demonstrating content filtered topics. A content filtered topic allows a filter expression to define a subset of the samples published on a topic that should be received by the content filtered topics data readers. This allows the subscriber's data reader for that topic to drop any incoming data samples which do not meet the filter criteria. This allows the filter expression to be evaluated on the publishing side first also so that any data samples that would be ignored by the subscriber due to the content filtering can be dropped before even being sent to the transport. For this example, we will use two instances of the Shapes demo application. In the first application window, we will publish a single instance of the square topic using the default quality of service settings. In the second application window, we will set up a subscriber to use content filtering. We will be subscribing to the square topic, but before we hit subscribe, we need to set up the content filtering. We will do that in the content filtering dialog menu. We will be using a content filter that is a bounding box, which is controlled by the X and Y sliders. We will be using the default settings for this bounding box. We will also use the default filter type, which is outside. The outside filter tells the subscriber to ignore all samples outside the given bounding box. To enable this content filter, click the enable toggle and select OK. As you can see, the bounding box has been set up in the subscriber's application window. Now we will hit subscribe to the square topic. You will now be able to observe the, the square bouncing around the publisher application's display window, as well as in the subscriber's window. On the subscriber side, however, the square's position and graphic will only be updated when it is within the content filters bounding box. All samples outside the content filter area are filtered out. 
you can see that while the published instance is within the content filter bounds, the subscriber square updates normally, keeping in step with the publisher's uh, side. However, when the published instance leaves the co confines of the content filter, the subscriber square remains at the last valid position and no longer updates its position until the published instance once again enters into the bounds of the content filter. This example was to show the content filtered topics For more information on OpenDDS, please visit the project website at OpenDDS.org. For support, training, and consulting, please visit ObjectComputing.com.